the J. Hi, I'm Ian. Hi, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Kenny. And, and we're, we're going to teach you about simultaneity. Question about simultaneity? Why, yes, it's like you can read my thoughts. Well, let's go on an adventure to discover it, shall we? So, you wanted to know something about simultaneity. Yeah, Dr. Long mentioned something about it in class, but as usual I didn't get anything. And I don't have really much time to study because I have a test tomorrow that I'm going to Asian fail and then my parents are going to kill me and then I'm not going to get into college. Whoa, whoa, whoa. calm down. <sighs> okay. Just calm down. Okay. Uh, let's start with the basics, shall we? So, you know what simultaneous means, right? Yeah, it's when two things happen at the same time. Correct. So, you know what that is. Yeah, it's simultaneous. Correct. But, to an observer mo moving at point 0.9c in that direction, it may look something look like this. Oh, okay, so it's not simultaneous anymore? In that reference frame, no. First point. Two events may happen simultaneously in one reference frame, while they will happen in another order in a different reference frame. Let's go to Dr. Matt to show us an example. In one reference frame, the lights could turn on simultaneously. But in another reference frame, where you're moving forward at relativistic speeds, the same events could lose simultaneity. Do you see how the first set of lights turn on before the second set of lights? This is because you're moving towards the first set of lights and moving away from the second set of lights. Hey Ian, I have another question. Um, can two events appear simultaneous uh, in more than two reference frames? Uh, no, they can't. They cannot. Okay. Because Every reference frame is moving at a different velocity. Okay. So therefore, the events will only be simultaneous in one reference frame if they're simultaneous in any reference frame. Okay. Because at different velocities of the reference frame, they will always have some amount of change between the events. So if, as stated before, if someone were moving in that direction at point 9c, the me doing this may appear like that, and if someone were moving that way at point 9c, it may appear like that. Right, so velocity of the observing reference frame um, has an effect on the time difference between the two events, right? Yes. Point two and three. If two events appear simultaneous in one reference frame, the events will not be simultaneous in any other reference frame. Velocity of the observing reference frame affects the simultaneity of the events. I understand that simultaneity, the two events cannot be simultaneous in multiple different reference frames, but is there always, does there always have to be a reference frame in which they are simultaneous? No. There is only one interval in which the event will be simultaneous in a reference frame. Okay. This interval is called a space-like interval. Okay. There are two other intervals in which they will never happen at the same time, called time-like interval and light-like interval. Right, and in those intervals, there is never simultaneity. Correct. Okay. Point four. Space-like intervals are the only interval in which simultaneity can occur. Okay, I understand all the laws of simultaneity and the laws of simultaneity. In, and um, is there any way to prove it, though? Yes. We will refer to Dr. Dom? No, Matt, to discuss that. Uh, hey, Matt. Uh, Ian asked me to refer to you for help on the uh, mathematics part of loss of simultaneity between reference frames. Well, we can show us that loss of simultaneity using Lorentz transformations. Okay. So Lorentz transformations are used when you're switching between reference frames and you want to see the change in each of the four vector components, time and the three space components. Right, Matt? Yes. Okay. For simultaneity purposes, we'll just focus on the time components of a four vector. So, the time change in the Lorentz transformation formula is gamma times t minus v times x over c squared. Oh, okay. And v is the velocity of the reference frame that you're changing to relative to the original one. Yes. Oh, okay. So, um, you can you can clearly see that when you're switching between reference frames um, that have different velocities, the d prime or the new time changes, so... So you can use that to find which event happens first. Yeah, so it's not always simultaneous. Sometimes one event happens first, sometimes the other does, depending on the velocity of the reference frame. Yeah. Okay, cool, thanks. You're welcome. Next time you think something's always simultaneous... Think again. Because, because it's, it's not! not.